Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to be looking at this repeated root here. It came from the scenario of solving a characteristic equation. You got the repeated root of r plus 3, which when you set equal to 0 and solve, you get negative 3. Because of this 2, you write down e to the negative 3t plus t e to the negative 3t. Actually, your general solution would have been of this form. So, what we got to do here is set up the Ron scheme. Then we got to prove that it doesn't equal to zero. And then we're done. It's a fundamental set of solutions. Um, so, if we have the derivative of y1, that would be the derivative of your exponent times what you had originally. Now, on y2, we have a product rule because there's two t's being multiplied. So, the derivative of the first times the second with no change plus the first with no change times the derivative of the second. So if we were to rewrite that in a neater form, we could factor out that e to the negative 3t uh, and get 1 minus 3t hat over factor to figure out what's left behind. So set up your wrong skin from that. So y1 goes in the first spot, its derivative below it, then y2 goes up here, and its derivative down here. find the determinant, it's going to be this times this, minus this times this, so it's going to be e to the 3, this is w, this would be the determinant of w, now when you multiply two like bases you add the exponents, and then And then minus a negative 3t e to the negative 3t plus negative 3t again. So let's look at what we have when we simplify a little bit. We're going to have e to the negative 6t. 1 minus e to the 3t plus 3t e to the negative 6t. Hmm. So at this point we can factor out that e to the negative 6t. You could have just as easily distributed it through and combined your like terms. But I prefer factoring things out usually what happens is you end up with a lot simpler thing to deal with inside the parentheses like we do here. To figure out what's left you take all of this that you had originally divide by what you're factoring out that gives you this. All of that divided by this gives you that. A little basic algebra there. And then these two cancel out and you're left with e to the negative 6t. Well if you remember there's no value at that you can plug in for t to make this equal to zero. That never equals zero, right? Because uh, there's an asymptote at uh, y equals zero. So therefore, y1 and y2 form a fundamental set of solutions.
okay? Uh, again, to satisfy that third condition, which I doubt you'll really have to do, usually they just want you to use Ronsky to prove it's a fundamental solution, set of solutions, and as long as you can say it never equals zero, they're satisfied. But um, I will do one more advanced condition problem in which you have to find out what the initial conditions are to make this uh, little theorem satisfied to formally make them a fundamental set of solutions, okay? Because technically the Ronskian never equaling zero is just part of it, um, but the initial conditions must be met. So the Ronskian guarantees that you can use those two solutions to form a fundamental set of solutions that exists, but you might have to figure out under what C1 and C2 values that those two actually do form a fundamental set. And I'll do an example of that that you can check out, okay? I hope I've eliminated any doubts that you might have over the Ron skin. Again, just practice, practice, practice. You'll see it's not that bad. Um, just a few derivatives is the worst case scenario. Thank you and have a nice day.